Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Let me know if y'all can hear me in the chat. Um, let me know if y'all can hear me in the chat. I'm gonna try to do this with grace and elegance, honey. Grace and elegance and and those those different things. Uh, uh, I had to get some. I had to wait till this morning because, you know, Okay, y'all can hear me. All right, well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, hope you guys slept well last night. <laughs> I hope you guys slept well last night, and I pray that you all have a fantastic day today. Um, but I had to just get up here because I I need to get some stuff off of my chest. Um, I I, I just need to say some things. Um. Yeah, some things that I just feel like need to be said, okay? So so we're going to get into it for sure, for sure. What's going on, Tyra? What's going on, Miss Thing 1980? What's up, Veronica? How are you, love? Shout out to you. Thank you so much for the, for your uh for your uh, cash app, Veronica. I appreciate it. Good morning, uh, Simply Elegance One. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Miss Connor. How are you? Uh, good morning, Mia. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Amber. Good morning, Forty One Fit. Good morning, Trina at Sound Point. What it do? What's going on, Demi Bell? What's up? What's up, Lady B? What's up? Okay. Uh, let's see. Cole, Cole, what's going on, love? Good morning. Good morning. You mean it? Good morning, Honey Green. Good morning. Uh, Patina Rose. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, this live is going to be a little different. I do understand my prayers go out to, um, to everyone involved in the Baltimore, uh, bridge collapsing this morning. I do want to, uh, say that I want to start off by saying that, uh, prayers out to everyone involved, uh, prayers out to the families, prayers out to, just prayers out to the rescue crew, everyone. Okay. Because it, it is. It's it's a lot. I seen that, and then that that was very heartbreaking. I mean, the last few days have just been like yesterday was a fool. My God, 
Ooh. But we're going to pray for a better day today. But we are praying for those families. Okay. All right. Hey, Annette. Hey, Jay Parrish. Hey, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. Listen. Um, I just want to say, set the, the record straight. Set a few things straight and just, you know, just talk to y'all this morning. I, I, I want to have a real life conversation. I might get a little activated. I'm going to try my best not to. But, you know, just bear with me if I do. You know what I'm saying? Just bear with me if I do. Um, Where do I start with this? Um, I'll say this. Let me say this. To be my friend and for me is 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 I see myself as this person who I love hard. I really enjoy laughing with people. Um and one thing I've learned throughout all of my years, I try not to put whatever I'm dealing with on other people in a sense to where they have to carry my burden or feel like they have to carry my burden. Um I'm very like there's some things I just don't share. You know, I, I am that type of friend. I am also a loyal friend. There have been some bitches. Yeah, I'm going to say it today. There have been some bitches that have really tried me. And when I say tried me, they have tried me. And again, I could lay their asses out on this Internet. But see, that's the difference with me. I don't do this. All this um, pulling of records and passing it around and showing it to people. And then when, when somebody has a, a, a fallout or whatever the case may be, you want to use it on Mad Day or you want to use something against them on Mad Day. Y'all are some whack people. Like, you people that sit out here, plot, plan, scheme, do all of those things, it's a place in hell for you. And I mean that. There's a place in hell. There's a seat right next to the damn devil himself. I don't like, again, I when I come on here, I come on here, I do my business. I don't, I don't really fool with too many people on YouTube. I've learned my lesson. I've done those things like I, I, I don't. So the close friends that I do have are the friends that I do have. Um, they're like my, like my close friends. So like, I don't know what you guys want from me. Like, but y'all are like really, it, it's just ridiculous that y'all wake up every morning. You, you sit, you're in your, you're, you're like miserable and all you do and all you want to see is someone else fall. You want to see someone else. A damn by the wayside, child. But let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. One thing about me, I'm not easily embarrassed, bitches. I'm just not. I'm I, I'm not that girl. I'm not easily embarrassed. I'm not easily. I, you 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 just don't get that from me. But to you lousy hoes who think that because again y'all done looked up my information, done found this you done found that you done found this and you swear up and down honey that you're gonna use it on mad day and again the difference is i actually value my friendships this is literally why i take take a step back away from everybody because what i don't understand I also don't fuck with people who link up with the ops. You can never, ever, ever, ever in life talk to me ever again after you've linked up with the ops. I don't operate like that. I don't. I value myself, number one. And then number two, I value my, my friendships with people. The moment you go to the ops, you stay the, over there. Okay, you stay over there. You don't never get to come back across here. And what I don't like is 
Y'all sit up, y'all have these conversations. I know people talk, oh, you know, y'all do everything that y'all want to do. Y'all y'all sit up on the phone, y'all talk, y'all run your damn mouth, you do all of that shit. And again, as I've stated before, the difference between me and a lot of these girls out here, and this is number one, why I'm I'm not in no competition. I don't I don't do these things like y'all, y'all gotta grow up. Y'all gotta grow up. Who goes over and link up with the ops? And then when you fall out with the ops, baby, you want to come back. No, you don't keep your ass over there on that side of the street. You're not ever coming over here. And I don't ever want to be connected with anybody who feels like if we were once friends, the moment that we fall out, you want to get up and tell all of my business. Or you want to tell like, fuck you. I'm aggravated because, again, baby, once you fall out with these people, don't come back over here asking for me. Like, no, there's no conversation that ever needs to be had. There's nothing. nothing I have nothing for you. I don't link up with folks ops. You can never say that about me. I don't do it. Some of y'all live for it. As if you're not going to fall out with the ops. You know why you're going to fall out with the ops? You're going to fall out with the ops because y'all never had a genuine connection to begin with in the first place. That's why you're going to fall out with the ops. Y'all, and again, I see y'all in the comment section. I'm just trying to get this out because it's really irritated me and I, I, I got to say it. I just don't do it. I don't link up with, with, with bitches that like to sit up uh, uh, and on mad day, you certain shit. Fuck you. Like, it's just that simple. I, I am so tired of y'all. Like, again, I don't link up with ops. When you link up with the ops, you're going to fall out with the ops. There was nothing genuine there. Nothing. I for real sit over here, do my fucking content and mind my business. Y'all want problems. Y'all want issues. Like, find you something to do. Find you some shit to do. Do you know what we're going through in this fucking, like, 2024? Like, right now? Find you some shit to do. There is something for you to do. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, I'm I'm really pissed because again I don't I value my friendships that I have with people. I really do. Like I value my friendships. And one thing I'm not going to do is ever get on this platform and try to prove my friendships with people. Like my friendships are my friendships. I don't have to come on YouTube and like talk about my I don't have to do that. And to be honest, no one has to do that. There are people who have gained real life friendships out here. There are people, and y'all hate to see it. Y'all hate to see it. And y'all will try to do anything to come in between. And I want to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. And it's probably going to piss some of y'all off in the comment section. But, baby, I be seeing some of y'all and other folks chat, you know good and well who they talking about. And then you migrate over here talk about you love me. Cut the bullshit. Just cut it. Now, let me get into this other piece. Oh, Jeremy in here. Hey, friend. What's going on, friend? That's a friendship that I value. It's very few. 
It's very few. <laughs> it's very few. But that is a friendship that I value. I value people who value me. You don't value me? Okay, bye. But to you bitches that sit up and dream about linking up with people's ops, you're whack, and there's a special place in hell for a bitch like you. And I said it. And who gonna check me? You are a very good friend. And we have said time and time again, the thing that we needed to do for each other was pick up the phone. We've said that. And I think we both can own that. But that that's the thing. Our friendship is not based on, our friendship is literally based on us having a friendship. It's not based on any other bullshit. We know, and we can call it out, we are two grown ass men. If I know that I need to pick up the phone, then that's what it is. I need to pick up the phone. And there probably are times where I should have picked up the phone. My thing though is I value my friendships with the people that I do have friendships with. And again, some people have done some dirty shit that I can lay out. I can lay them out, but that's not even who I am. I can embarrass some of these people, but that ain't who I am. I know as a friend, one thing I know I, I am working on, period, is my communication. Because a lot of times when I get busy or I get frustrated about something, I shut off. I do. And I know that that's an area of flaw that I need to work on. But I still value my friendship, period. And I don't link up with people's ops if I fall out with them. I'm not going to link up with your ops, have a conversation uh, with, with people about what you did. Like, I'm not doing that. To me, it is some bullshit. Some of y'all DMing me and messaging me. I'm fine. I promise I'm fine. I just had to get this off my chest this morning. I did. I did. Because you know what, Jeremy, since you were in here, I, I got to use you as an example. Y'all remember when me and Jeremy first started uh, reviewing Bell Collective and how people would come in and be like, dang, dang, like, what, what's going on with Chef and Jeremy? Like, Y'all did that. Y'all did that then, and y'all do the shit now. And it's so crazy to me because again, it ain't. It, it's not that deep. It's just not that deep. People have different personalities, and that's just what it is. People have different personalities. Period. Well, you was just inboxing me, Scott. <laughs> well, uh, unfortunately, uh, that ain't the same. <laughs> uh, Jeremy said, uh, y'all were uh, there for me in the most low, lowest checking on me, encouraging me to continue YouTube. Absolutely. Listen. Again, and I know that there are areas where I probably could communicate more and I can own that. I can, I can definitely own that. I tell y'all all the time, like I know me and I know like when I'm dealing with something challenging, whether that be work, whether that be in my life or whatever the case may be, sometimes I really do shut down and don't know how to communicate those things. And again, it's not, it's not it's not meant to be shady. It's not meant for any of that. 
that ain't what it is. I just, again, I know how I am. And a lot of times I when I shut down, I just shut down. Like I do. Thank you, Simply Elegant One. I do. I shut down. And again, it's something that I'm working on. It is definitely something I'm working on. My brother get mad. Like we're literally in the same house and I was shut down on him. I probably would go two days without saying a word to him. But just because of the fact that that's how I am, I, 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 I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it, honey. I'm working on it. But again, I value the people that I love. Scotty, G, uh, Jeremy, Jay. I really value the people that I love and care for. And I don't say that lightly. Y'all see me sitting up here saying I love everybody because I do take that as like a serious thing. Like it ain't, it ain't no joke. I ain't just sitting up here saying I love folks that I know is sitting up plotting behind the scenes to destroy or do whatever they want to do next. It's just simple. I just, y'all. Who links up with the ops, bro? Who like, like. It, it pisses me off, but, 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 honey, <sighs> y'all love to link up. Y'all just love to link up. Y'all love to link up. I don't even understand how y'all have time to link up with the op. Like, you're not going to fall out with them. I mean, you know, I, child, uh, I'm the same way. Yeah, I got to get better. I do. I got to get better. I will shut down, child, and it may be a couple days. Hell, I, that's, just, that's just how I am. It's not funny. It's actually not funny. But I'm getting better. And I can own that. Honey, I have a collaboration for us. For who? For me? You and who? Who? Who that was for? Scotty? Who that was for? Good morning to everybody just coming in, honey. I had to get this shit out of my chest. I really did. I had to get this out of my chest because I received a number of DMs on Instagram, a number of DMs on Patreon. And child, when y'all start DMing me on Patreon, girl, I, I immediately be like, what the hell is happening? You are right about that, uh, 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 Jeremy, because child, listen, I can't say nothing about Jeremy, baby, because I am the same way. <laughs> I am the same way. I really am. I am the same way. Uh, I say my ops link it up, and I'm like, okay, Cardi said it well. Cardi said it well. Baby, the ops really do be linking up. They be linking up like they not fit to fall out. I'm like, girl, y'all gonna fall out next week. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way it is because you never had no genuine intentions on on being connected with that person. Your your intention was to be messy and connect with that person because you don't like somebody else. So nothing. There's nothing natural. There's nothing genuine there. It's just a bunch of bullshit. But I peep you, hun. Absolutely, Trent. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, everybody coming in. If I ain't speak to you, I had to get some stuff off my chest. <laughs> You're sure? I mean, I got time today. I don't have the clock here till what? <laughs> I see what y'all say. Y'all talk about tying y'all shoes and stuff up. I'm good. I'm Gucci. I'm going to be Gucci. I just had to get it out of my chest so I can continue with my day, honey. But I, I just, again, you just, once you go over there, you can't come back across here. Mm -mm. No, you're not welcome back over here no more. Baby, I, it's a privilege to be my friend. I don't care what nobody, it is a privilege to be my friend. That's the way I see it. That's the way you should see it. 
you should see it as anyone being your friend that it's a privilege for them to be your friend as well it's a privilege yeah it's a privilege yeah period Yeah, it, it is. It's a privilege for people to be your friend. It's a pe it's a privilege for people to be in your space. It's a privilege for folks to have your phone number, honey. It is a privilege for people to have access to you in any other way besides like Instagram and places like that. It's a privilege. And and that's just the way I see it. It's a privilege to be connected to me. And it should be the same for you. But again, people don't value friendships and connections like they should. They just don't. They don't. So I'm about to get into my next uh, uh, little situation. Okay? Y'all can stop DMing me about Jay. <laughs> Y'all can stop that. Y'all can stop DMing me about Jay. Jay and I also have a really good friendship. So y'all can stop that too. Y'all can stop that too. And y'all, I'm I'ma sit back and kick it at people. I don't I, listen. Anything that anybody say, I don't care if they roasting me or whatever the case, I'ma laugh and kiki. That's just the type of person I am. I have a a a, a very um who you wanna I don't know what to call it, but yeah, when I'm jawned on or whatever the case may be, I'll just be laughing. So it's a privilege for me to be attacked every day. <laughs> Scotty, who attacking you every day? <laughs> who attacking you every day? <laughs> oh, that what you call it? Thick skin? Yeah, I guess that's what it is, baby. I'm a key key, honey. I don't take a lot of stuff like that to... to you know, some people take that stuff to heart. I don't do that. I just laugh and kiki with you, baby. Like, that's it. I'm I'm gonna just laugh at all. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, but girl, I go through real shit in my life every day for a little joke of John, baby. That ain't gonna hurt my feelings. <laughs> I'm just saying, a little joke, a little John, a little kiki ki moment. It just ain't gonna hurt my feelings that I gotta uh, you know, go in the corner and cry, honey. Oh my God, you said like, no. Um, <laughs> Y'all funny in here. Yes, I opened this up. Hey, t -talk, I opened this up talking about uh, Baltimore. We're definitely praying for everybody involved. Also praying for the rescue crew as well. Um, we're praying for everybody. That, that's really a sad situation. And honestly, I would be scared, child. Seeing all this stuff now, like, there are certain things. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going across no bridge, baby. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> it's just certain things I, I'm, mm-mm. Call me scary. Uh, I'm done being messy for today. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Capricorn. You gonna laugh, uh, sit back and watch. And just, yeah, <laughs> we sneaky. Capricorns are not sneaky. We just don't forget shit, no. We just Capricorns definitely don't forget nothing, baby. <laughs> oh, we don't forget nothing. Okay, we're gonna sit up here and pretend like we forgot. We're gonna get you back in a couple of years. <laughs> we are the goats. Yes, we are the goats. We're like the first, like, like, don't do the caps. Don't do the Capricorns, okay? Like, because we are the first, honey. We are the first. We are the first. <laughs> we are the first. And again, Capricorns, we may not get you in the moment. <laughs> we may get you two months from now. We may get you two years from now, but you better believe we're going to get you back. <laughs> We're going to get you back. 
<laughs> so I guess if that's what you call sneaky, I can agree with that piece. <laughs> if that's what you call sneaky, I can agree with that. Ha, ah, Shayla says, said the Capricorns or something else. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> we just don't play no game. <laughs> uh, Capricorns can be sweet, but don't push them. They're sour. <laughs> it's far worse. <laughs> that is actually funny because real life, real life, real life-ish, that's, that's exactly how we are. But we're going to get you back. Believe that. <laughs> Power patch kids. Whoa. <laughs> I'm in Dallas. I only uh do back side streets on highways or or yeah, child, listen. I don't know about no bridges, baby. Y'all ask me what I'm afraid of in life. Baby, your bridge is one of them, and so is a um. Y'all probably gonna be like that chef, but I don't do no on cruise ships either, honey. <laughs> I just know, I know, <laughs> I don't do no cruise ships either, baby. My family now talk about going on a cruise. No, y'all going by yourself? Just yeah, I ain't going nowhere. I cruise right here and do some work, but I'm not going to get on no cruise ship. No. My sister, two brothers, baby daddy, all Capricorns. Yeah, we don't play no games. You love going to car. Mm -mm, I'm scared. Caps are terrible people. Now, Scotty, I am not a terrible person, so we cannot say caps are terrible people. That is a lie, Scotty. Now, all these caps about to get you and watch, watch, watch them about to leave the chat. Capricorn is about to get you. Okay? They about to get you because that is not true. I get along good with Capricorns, uh, but I'm a Pisces. So I should get along with Pisces. I do. Who I really don't get along with would be... uh um. <laughs> well, I don't want to say I don't get along with them because one of my friends <laughs> clearly is... Uh, <laughs> actually... Actually, two of my good good duties is is uh Sagittarius. My dad is a Sagittarius too. Uh, baby, I'll say this: I won't ever date a Sagittarius child. Mm -mm. Nope. Hell no. Hell to the now, honey. <laughs> hey, y'all Aries. I know it's Aries season. Y'all Aries. Yeah, let me tell y'all about y'all Aries, y'all. Y'all like to be right about everything. Uh-huh. Y'all will argue us dying about the color of the sky. Okay, you dated one person, Scotty. One. One. One person. One person. Just one. Okay? So, you're going to let that person spoil it all for the Capricorn. Because we are not bad people. Sag and Le <laughs> Libra put you through it. <laughs> it's the Aries and Aries and Leos for me. And I know what y'all Leos gonna say in the chat, but I don't care what y'all say. Leos, y'all bouncing. I'm bouncing. Yes, y'all bouncing. Leos are bouncing. Uh my Grammy was a Sag. Both parents are Caps. I'm a, a I'm an Aquarius who was married uh, to a Pisces. I have sisters Aries. Leo. Okay, and let me also say this: I do, I do, I ain't gonna lie. I do love me some Aquarius. I do, I do. I love me some Aquarius now. Um, uh, watch it. Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> Y'all know Leo's is bossy. Y'all know y'all bossy. And then Aries, baby, the light, the red light is red. Baby, they gonna argue and tell you it's green. Okay? It's 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 blinking red. And they're gonna tell you it's blinking green, baby. And you gonna see green by the time we get done with the conversation. <laughs> y'all know I'm not lying about the Aries. Y'all know. Y'all know I'm not lying about the Aries. 
The light will be blinking red. And the Aries is gonna say, That's green. You'll be like, now nah, it's red. No, it's green. It's green. You know how I know it's green? It's green because I said it was green. Yeah, that's how Aries do. <laughs> That's that's exactly how Aries do it, do baby. They <laughs> they gonna argue you down, okay? <laughs> I had, I had went on a date one time with an Aries, baby. I on time. You I went to have late, and you gonna argue with me down. You gonna argue me down by telling me. You was on top, like what you not finna do is play in my face. No, no. <laughs> oh yeah, I love Aquarius. Oh, Scotty is an Aquarius. Okay, well let me just say besides Scotty. <laughs> I'm an Aquarius, and I don't forget nothing. I love her, and when I'm done, I'm done. The same way you hear Miss Denise, I, I be when I'm done with people, I'm done with people too. Like, I'm done with you. Oh, okay. So we got the Leos putting their little lines in the chat. Y'all better uh rip y'all. Y'all better rip y'all. What's the name? Because they over here putting a bunch of lines in the chat. Y'all better start putting y'all's signs up in here. Chef Don Don, you are right about Aries. I can't because I don't like to argue. I have a lot of Aquarius friends. Yeah, them them Aries, but they gonna get you together. Uh, my dad was a January Cap. We got along so well. My sister is a December Cap, and we have issues at times. Okay, let me tell y'all something. My dad is the Sagittarius, and I'm more like my dad. Like me and my dad are like more like. But this is what's crazy. My mom is a Capricorn baby. And she, wait, is she a Capricorn or Sagittarius? No, she's a Capricorn. That's why we couldn't get along, really. She's a December Capricorn baby. And me and my sister is January Capricorns. In case if y'all don't know, a little fun little, little thing about me. Uh, my My sister and I are the same age for one day. My sister and I are the same age for one day, and then after that, of course, she's like a like you know a little older than me. But we get along very well, very, 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 very well. Actually, to be honest with y'all, me and my sister have never we have never had a disagreement or argument, y'all ever, ever. That's how that's how in sync we are with each other we've never had an argument we've never had a disagreement we've never had any of those things now my other sister's on the other hand that's a different story but her we we've never had an argument we've never had a disagreement we've never had any of that stuff um capricorns get along no problem but my cousin is yeah I am. I will say those December Capricorns are very different. They are different. I will say that they they seem to be a little different. <laughs> I'm a Libra, and my flaw is my cutoff game. Um, it's strong too, too strong. <clears throat> Hold on. Had to go. Oh no, cause I can't. My mama. Hold on. Oh wow. But we back cool. Okay, good. I'm glad y'all back cool. That's the that's the biggest thing. I'm glad y'all back cool. Cause listen, you love what up though, Harold? Harold said I love both December and Capricorn. Uh, uh December and January Capricorn. Listen, hey Creole girl, hey everybody. If I didn't get a chance to speak to you, I'm glad y'all was able to let the conversation shift. Cause when I started this live, I was pissed. Okay. Now y'all got a little little grin on my face. I ain't gonna say no smile, but I got a little grin on it. Uh, hey Tyro. Hey Diego. Yeah, 
Y'all don't do the Capricorns like that. Please don't do the Capricorns like that. I forgot to tell y'all, everything in this video is a legend and what I think, okay? Everything in this video is a legend, all right? And it's what I think. Yes, Sagittarius, I'm laughing. And if, you know what, though? I ain't, I, now that, since we talk about signs, He was a Gemini. He's the, mm, I think he's the only Gemini that I know. Or at least that's in my circle like that. Um, Sagittarius in the house. Come on, Sag. My dad is a Sag. Two of my best friends are Sagittarius. And Leo will block, delete, and unfollow you, and you will not know we are not, not friends. Oh, child. Y'all, uh-uh. Tell me. Baby, cuss me out first. Cuss me out first or something, child. Don't just don't just start talking to me and then I'll be wondering what's going on. At least cuss me out. And then just say it's a legend. That's all you gotta do. Just cuss me out and be like, oh, it's all a legend. <laughs> It's all a legend, honey. It's all a legend. <laughs> I'm a proud Sagittarius. Listen, I do have love for Sagittarius. But one thing I must say about Sagittarius, now this is probably about to shift the conversation just a little bit. Sagittarius is, y'all some freaks. I don't care. Y'all freaky. Yeah. Y'all Sagittarius. Y'all freaky, honey. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I don't know, not one that ain't freaky, baby. Y'all some freaky people. <laughs> I'm just saying, cuz, uh, I'm gonna get you, and you know, good and well, I don't care. <laughs> and y'all do know at some point we are gonna talk about P. Dennis, okay? P. Dennis. Y'all know P. Dennis. <laughs> That video actually would be perfect to play before we talk about P. Dennis, okay? Yes, P. Dennis, a.k.a. P. Diddy. Now, I know, I know y'all some freaks. I'm just saying. I, I know that. I know y'all some freaks, baby. Okay? I done had a few Sagittarius in my day. And, and, and baby, y'all, baby. <laughs> y'all are some freaks okay let's keep it a buck let's keep it a buck honey and they yeah i play all day with you but uh when i'm done leave you right they're looking lost period period that's me too uh, my two older sisters are sad a trip and very uh protective Yes, they are protective too. I will say that too. Unc said we was in your she said she said twenty twenty eight. <laughs> no, twenty two thousand two thousand eighty. <laughs> she was trying to say nineteen eighty and two thousand and two thousand and eighty. Well, baby, we ain't made it to two thousand eighty yet, honey. We ain't made it now. A few was just, was Jay Taylor right for calling you what he called you Saturday? A few? No, a few doesn't make me a whore. He kept calling me a whore and telling me to close my legs to marry me. Okay, since you brought that up, let's clear this up too. Please, let's clear this up. Y'all, I promise y'all it's not that deep. Y'all see, I ain't take that as nothing. Like the the what I said was I think I said something like tell a married man to keep their legs closed to me or something like that. I said like y'all it wasn't that deep. Yeah, it was people in the comments talking about oh he called you a whore he called you a hoe. I mean listen in our community that's how we talk to each other. Okay, that's just how we talk to each other. Like it it it, it ain't that deep. I promise y'all it's not. We have a specific lingo in which. We talk to each other 
And baby, it's 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 not it's not that deep. It's 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 not that deep. Um now to answer your question, am I a whore or a hoe? That would be a no. <laughs> I'm not either of those. Maybe. Okay. So yeah, it was it was nothing deep that that people got to be like, "Oh my god, cuz there were people in my comments that was just like, "Oh my god, he called you a hoe. That's not good. I really hope you guys' friendship stays because he called you a hoe." I done been called some of everything. That, 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 a hoe and a whore? Okay, yeah. Right, you know, and some of y'all women, y'all call y'all good girlfriend bitches and stuff, so let's not do that. I, I mean, come on now. We're not even for to do that. We just not about to do it. I mean, we, you know, like, let's keep it real. Thank you, Tennessee girl, because that's all it was to me putting 20 on 10, because I'm like, it ain't even that deep, y'all. Like, we really do have a genuine friendship. And again, I'm calling me a hoe and a whore. Like, I ain't take that no type of way. Actually, if y'all see my demeanor, y'all will understand that when people say stuff that be all off, like, whatever they, I'm just going to look and laugh, honey. <laughs> that's it. Let me get my breakfast, but many of us, uh, have had good times before the age of technology. Oh, oh, good times. Oh, my, mm. <laughs> good times, baby. Let the good times keep on rolling. We were joking, we were joking and having fun. I mean, that's literally that's how we talk in our that's how we talk in our uh, in our in our like spaces that's just how we talk to each other even if you meet um people who are in the lgbtq community outside of just youtube that's that's literally how we talk to one another well yeah i'm not saying everybody i'm not i'm not saying everybody but i'm just saying i'm just using it as a point like you know y'all can't be that heated i mean that that upset over hoeing or when y'all hear other folks call each other bitches and stuff, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, you and Jay Trendon did a good job uh making me laugh. Jay is absolutely hilarious. Jay is a Jay is a nut. Side note, is Apollo Nida coming back to reality TV? Why is CK interviewing her? Girl. Who gives a shit about what Apollo got to say? He said he don't want to talk about him being caught up on that ring camera. And he told he told Michelle ATL and Brown that the reason why that girl did that was so she could set her man up. Well, the opposite happened, sir. The opposite happened. You know, people be weird. Is he still with his wife? Apparently so. I watched that little interview. Well, I ain't watched the whole thing, so let me not tell that lie. But I did watch a piece of his interview with Michelle ATL and Brown, and when she asked him that, um, he was like, I don't have to go too deep into detail about it, but uh, she was trying to play hub dude or whatever the case. Y'all just sound like a bunch of... Just, child. Carlos interviewing anyone at this point. Who wants to hear what Apollo got to say, though? Inviting Apollo to the marriage of Madison reunion to hell for what? For what? For what? 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 What do we need to? What do we need to know about Apollo? The fact that there is no connection here to Madison. Okay, we do not care, especially if they were associated with Bravo. Oh, uh, you responded to Shayla. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, the fine part we're not taking away. We we won't take that away. Oh, we won't take that away at all. That that's the truth. But I'm not interested in seeing him on TV. Is basically what I'm saying. Yeah, I could see him trying to get back on reality TV for sure. I definitely could see it. I don't know why. Uh, maybe maybe he feel like he got some stuff he need to get off his chest or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But what I do know is this. I want to revert back to what I originally started talking about when I started this live, okay? I'm telling all y'all, tie y'all sneakers back up. You know, tie your shoes back up, Don Don's. Tie your, put your shoes back on. Time back up. I promise you we good. We good. We good. I just had to get some things off of my chest, you know, where, you know, ops don't mind linking up with other people, honey. The ops don't mind linking up with people who is once your friend and once your associate, honey. And, and they don't mind passing your background that got pulled all around and be prepared to use it on Mad Day, honey, because that's exactly what the people trying to do, honey. They they wait. They they're gonna they they wait, child. They wait and child. They are gonna use it on Mad Day. They gonna use it on Mad Day. Like I know one person who has these background checks and stuff like that, and I swear to God, if that person is ever listening to me, and I find out that. That that person shared that to somebody to to other people. Oh, it's going down. It is. It is. It is. It's going down. It is. It's 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 definitely going down because y'all got this. I, I I I just don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. My thing is this. I think beefs unfortunately come a little natural, right? In a sense to where I may beef with you like a little bit, but then like girl, at some point let it go because. None of us is gaining anything from the fact that, like, none of us is gaining anything from this. Like, nothing. Nothing. And we're just not. Uh, Chef Dunda, I went back to the beginning of your video. Are you talking about who I think you're talking about? Um, so I'm actually discussing a group of people without exposing. Again, here I go. Here I go, because see, I could lay y'all out right now, but I'm choosing not to. I could lay y'all out right now, but it's not my personality. <laughs> I could shut this shit down right now. But I'm talking about a group of people. Y'all are very aware that there was a group of people's background that was pulled. Okay. And I know that it's being shared around to people so that people can use it on Mad Day. So that, that, that's what it is. People want to use the background. Y'all already know. So we ain't, we ain't got to go down that road. Y'all know that there are background checks that were ran on people. Okay. So the background checks are being passed around to people to use on Mad Day. What's Mad Day? The day you fall out with somebody. And they feel like they got to use use that stuff against you or whatever. That's what Mad Day is. Child, them folks just miserable. Just can you, they can use my, I don't care one bit. Just don't come to my house. I guarantee you, you won't leave the same way you came, period. The reason why I, I and I, I think I've already told you guys this. I have told you guys this. In the process of that being done, like my sister and nephews were doxxed and stuff like that. I, I, you listen to anybody who do stuff like that. Your booty stink, your breath stink, your hair is uneven. You musty, you dusty. 
and you foul. And I mean that to the utter end of the most. Like, to those of you that are participating in that and you know who you are, no one has to say it. You know exactly who you are. You funky, your feet dirty, your breath stink, okay? Your ass stinks. You need to bathe. You dusty. You got missing teeth. Okay, your tongue is white. And again, your breath smell like dog shit. That's how, and you don't got no clean socks or drawers in your drawers. Okay, that's what I can say about you. Yeah, yeah. That that that's exactly what you are. Your breath stink again. It smell like dog shit, cat shit, whichever one you want it to smell like. Your body odor is horrible. You funky. Okay, and your hair is uneven. That's what you should be concerned about. Your hair growing evenly. Okay, the 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 whole left side of your head. <laughs> Girl, the left side of your head that grew two centimeters and the right side of your head is two inches. So stop playing. Just stop. <laughs> Why are they still passing around? I have no clue. I have no clue. And to me, to me, it's not, it's, it, I mean, what is it, what is it going to benefit? Y'all come out here and tell folks business and stuff at the end of the day. What, what does, what does it benefit you? What does it benefit you? Because you got to understand when you do that to somebody and somebody do it to you, they're not wrong for doing it to you because you did it to somebody else. I mean, that's just that's just facts to me. <clears throat> Baby, not that ball head, the ski jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you stink and you funky and i'm gonna say it again to people who do shit like that your breath stink your hair uneven you dusty your feet dirty baby you just need to all around go sit in a bathtub and bathe honey that's what you need to do that this this that's what you need to do you ain't no good if you out here doing shit like that i'm just saying and it's a special place in hell for you too, right? You got a seat right next to the devil himself. What did Wanda call the devil the other day? Lucifer, Lucifer, no Lucius. She called it. She called it devil Lucius, y'all. <laughs> y'all gonna be sitting right next to Lucius down in hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all be sitting sitting right next to Lucius, right in hell. <laughs> but he, and she just knew she said Lucifer, right? She just knew she did. She was like, "Yeah, y'all gonna be sitting next to Lucius, Lucius down there, <laughs> Lucius, child." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Lucius took me out, child. <laughs> Who y'all say Lucifer? Hey, friend. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. All my friends have shown me love this morning. Hey, friend. Friend. Where, I know I'm changing the word. Where have you been? Nobody loves me like you do. Nobody gonna love me like you do. Oh, not trying to trying to take not trying to trying to take your friend. Can I have my friend for? Oh God, <laughs> I'm good now. I'm good now. When I started this, I probably wasn't in the best spirit. But I'm good now. I'm good now. Y'all, y'all really don't like my spirits up. 
Well, seeing seeing my friends light my spirit up. Seeing my friends come in here, it really did light my spirit. Scotty, Jeremy, Jay, it, it lit my spirits up. So I appreciate y'all. I do. I do. <laughs> was i serving breakfast this morning it is real deep this morning ain't it baby when i got on here i i just literally got on here to set the record straight honey but the people the people was definitely tuned in hey to y'all up there in the trees it ain't the bushes no more <laughs> It's the trees. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> yeah, a reality 419, baby. I don't, I don't, I don't fool with nobody who link over ops and stuff like that. Hell no. Nope. Nope. We don't do the ops around here. We, we, we do not do the ops around here. And again, I, I think this is the difference with me. I, I'm, I'm very mature to the fact that if we're we're no longer friends, baby, then we're just no longer friends. I ain't trying to call your aunt Mary on the phone and try to find some dirt on you. I ain't gonna call your uh, uh brother Billy Bob Joe and ask him why did you go to jail back in 1997, honey? I ain't gonna ask your uh. Yo, mama, your mama, I'm not going to sit up here and ask her why your mortgage is what it is, child, and she's supposed to be a co-signer on your home loan, honey. I'm not going to do all that. Like, girl, girl, like, why, why? Like, you got that much energy that you you got to call the, the folk family, find the folk family all over there on, on Facebook, child. You doing deep investigations, child. And the sad part about it is you ain't never even met your own damn daddy. Okay. So let's not, let's let's not. Let's just not. Should be told you don't even know who your daddy is. Okay. But you you want to call everybody family and figure out what's going on. Girl, I, I just cannot. I, I cannot. I cannot. Some folks just don't have morals, though. Uh, you not like them, unfortunately. Right. Right. Girl, call her all around town. And you need to go there and talk to your mama because your mama don't know who your daddy is. Like, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I, again, I let y'all make it. And the reason why I don't go to that, to like, to those depths is because, baby, I don't have no comeback. Like in a sense to where if if I go that far, I'm cussing your ass out, and I'm leaving you on Cuss Out Avenue. I, I I don't I don't got time for it. I just don't. Uh, she reaping what she sold going after that married man. I don't feel sorry for her. Oh, you must be talking about Porsche time. I'm trying to tell you, it is straight messy. And again, I don't understand it. I don't understand why you got time to sit over here instead of minding your damn business, instead of going to get you a ham sandwich, going to the refrigerator, putting some mayonnaise and mustard on two slices of bread, baby, and put your little cheese on and make your little ham sandwich and going about your damn business. And we done fall out as friends. You sit over there trying to call my grandma and my uncle and my auntie and everything, trying to figure out all my business and stuff. No, what you need to do is get down on your family tree Figure out who your daddy is, because I'm sure your mama don't know. Uh, Yeah, yeah, don't try it. Just do not try it. The people feel like they want to try it. No. No, no. Who your pappy? Who the pappy? Who the pappy? Uh, I thought his wife was sleeping. With the pregnant by Cooper. Oh yeah, y'all talking about y'all talking about Posha, child. Posha, Posha, Posha. 
I'm just saying, you should be worried about, you know, eating a little ham sandwich or something. Baby, you might even want to put you a little lettuce and tomato on it, but you can't do none of that sitting up here worried about me. Like, you just can't do none of that. Just, ma'am. <laughs> you know what else is crazy? I'm going to say this. Y'all, y'all can't be that slow that y'all think that folk don't share like certain DMs when it comes to certain things. Like, I, I really want folks to sit back and like think about things before they do them. Because then when you get called out because that person got receipts, <laughs> then you look stupid. So you might as well just sit back, honey. If you're going to do it, I want you to stand in your big girl and big boy drawers and make sure you said that you did it. Uh-huh. Yeah, stand in it. Stand in it. Stand in it. That's how I feel about it. Oh, heck no. Nah. That is cause right for... Yeah, like, I, I don't... I, I just do not operate like that. I, it just ain't... It ain't that deep for me. Girl, I ain't met I ain't met none of these folks on the YouTube, and, and you would have thought, baby, that we had been friends since we was down there and finna go out together. Girl. Will you have your Wi-Fi util? Oh Lord. Jay Taylor don't come for trending. Friend, you still coming for trending. <laughs> Jay said you trying to take my friend. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> ah, the DMs will get you in trouble every time, every single time, every single time. And this is why I always say just stop sending DMs. And what y'all think is y'all got groups and stuff like that. And folks can't wait to send stuff that y'all be seeing in them groups when you think everybody is on your side, baby. They can't wait to send it out. <laughs> That's the point. That's the point. You link up with the ops. You link up with the ops. You link up with the ops. And guess what? You ain't never coming back across him. You just think. I would hate to see when people get called out and show actual receipts. Y'all better uh go uh drink some water and mind your business. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Cause see, I'm one of the girls that that you'll never know when I decide to put it. You you will never know. You would never know. Yeah, like, baby, they stay in the DMs, honey. They do. They stay in the DMs. And I respectfully ask some of these folks, you know, like, baby, I don't care if my name is, is on somebody's thumbnail, my face, any of that is on somebody's thumbnail. If, 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 if I ain't there to support them, baby, then guess what? I don't give a damn. I don't. Hey, I natty. You know I natty don't play by I natty don't play by her YouTube nephews and nieces, honey. She gonna put on she gonna put on the boots, baby. <laughs> gonna strap them them boots up. <laughs> why are you yelling so early? This uh, Jay, why are you yelling so early in the morning? <laughs> that link up won't be uh for long. They will be dragging each other in a month. Absolutely. That's how it always ends up happening. That's literally how it always ends up happening. And as I've stated before, when you link up with the ops, you got to understand that you are going to fall out with them people at some point. You're going to fall out with them people because y'all's connection wasn't genuine and your connection was literally trying to come at somebody. God don't bless no mess. God don't bless no mess. This is my ugly handwriting. What did that what the hell this say? Damn, y'all. It's something where you can't even when you can't even um 
when you can't even read your own own handwriting. They they know who I'm talking about. They know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the person know exactly the people know exactly who I'm talking to. They know. Y'all, it's a damn shame. I wrote down a recipe. I don't even know what this. Sh- I don't even know what that says. <laughs> How can you read my own handwriting? <laughs> no need to be lost. Okay, y'all remember I told y'all that there was a group of people whose background had gotten pulled. Okay, background had gotten pulled. What I do know is is that that background is being sent to several different people, I guess, so that on Mad Day, again, no, I ain't scared. I am I just have no reason to put out who I'm talking about, number one, because y- y'all know, y'all know. There's some things I can't say, and y'all know why I can't say it. Y'all know exactly why I can't say it. But so there was a a time where several different content creators, uh, uh, backgrounds had gotten pulled, uh, family family members had been doxxed. Well, I can't speak for nobody else. I can only speak for for the sheriff, honey. Uh, uh, my sister was doxxed, and through this process, a whole bunch of other stuff has happened behind the scenes that y'all y'all don't know about. But. We're at this point to where now it's like I I peep y'all. Uh yeah. Y'all y'all know y'all know what it is. Y'all been around. Y'all been around, so y'all know. Y'all know exactly what it is. Um Wait, what happened? Uh, so many people use Melody to grow their channels. It is sickening. Oh, 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 oh. I, I see what you're saying in TikTok. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I I I, I gotta keep silent, y'all. There's just some things I can't say, but 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 just know I, this this just lets you know I'm not a dumb bitch. I've I'm I've never been dumb. I can play dumb. But I ain't never been dumb. So don't let it fool you. Um Jay, you respect it too. You respect it too. Thank you, Demi. Thank you, Demi. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Demi. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate it. I-, I do appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a slow hoe. I am not a part of that committee. Y'all know who the president is. Y'all know who the vice president and director of the slow hole committee is. And I'm not a part of that committee whatsoever. Thank you, Demi. Tell him again, stop being messy. He woke up with a messy spirit that morning, didn't it? Didn't he wake up with a messy spirit that morning? Hmm. Oh yeah, because b- b- listen, let me let me say this. Let me not be trying to boot me, try to boot you from the live. <laughs> oh my god. Let me say this. Somebody was all right by saying what they said. You bypassed my message and got up here heated. I did. I was hot. I was hot, honey. I was hot. Because again, y'all know that again, I value my friendships. I value the people who are close to me. I value those things. And so I see what y'all trying to do and I peep y'all. I do. And if I ever get a sense of anything, I know how to disconnect myself from certain people. I do. One thing about me, 
Baby. Yeah. I never to say she forgot to speak, y'all, because she came in heat. <laughs> yeah. T-Talk said, I'll say it. <laughs> ah, it's a frivolous lawsuit. Girl. I'm still trying to forget. <laughs> the only reason why I'm going to say this is because this part is already public. I'm trying to figure out where the 10 milli coming from. That's how, that's how I want to show. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to figure out where the, where the hell that 10 milli coming from. <laughs> 10 million? <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> Oh, mercy, mercy me. You know, I bet mean, I ain't even asked for no cash app. So shout out to uh Coley Cole for the cash app. I greatly appreciate you, baby. I ain't even asked for nine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Where's me if I breathe, child? Yeah, these people are lame. Hold on. These people are lame like who has time for the tired mess? Yeah, like, like again, it's just a bunch of pathetic mess that's going on, y'all. Like, it, it's it's not necessary, honestly, whatsoever. It's not. People just didn't agree. We all talk our little shit. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, it it, it should have never went to this to the to these depths ever, ever, ever. Y'all can't take a little joan, a little joke or nothing like that. You got the, like, to me, it's just. Child, but do whatever you feel like is good for you, honey. Go ahead. Go right on ahead. Uh, one thing about me and my friends, what's understood doesn't need to be explained. Ops uh, can exit left. Yeah, period. Um. Catch apps. Yeah. I wouldn't even talk about y'all. I talk about catch apps. Catch apps, catch apps, catch apps. All right. Y'all bless the catch app. Bless the catch app. They was laughing at me yesterday because I said, because I did specifically say, and I meant that, and I still mean it. I stopped begging for catch apps when Wanda sent $2,000. And. That should never, that should never happen. So that means I'm going to keep asking. <laughs> I mean, baby, this is a job for me all day, every day. Okay. Are you off today? Come on, off today. I'm here for it, uh, Terry. Terry says she off today. We all deserve an off day, don't we? Um, I just get sick of these hoes. Uh, thinking that they come can come for chef and rest of uh, the crew because they men i be on any maddie time your mama your kids can get it listen 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 Sha. listen i i keep telling you uh chef uh you need to trademark the word ketchup <laughs> Baby, it's a whole bunch of shit I need to trademark. <laughs> uh, if if you woke up late and you only had time uh to do two, which one will you skip? Wash, wash your face, brush your teeth, or wash your butt? Go. You only had time to do two. Well, I don't know about that J twenty eight T because I feel like if you wash your butt, I mean, you mean like a shower? I mean, because if you're taking a shower, baby, then, you know, it's quite natural that you. I don't know. Hopefully you you brush your teeth. You either brush your teeth or you get in the shower when you get out and wash your face. Now, J2018, here's what I'll say. People who dox and people who run background checks and do all that stuff, we know they don't do none of that. They don't wash their ass. They don't wash their face. They don't brush their teeth. They don't do none of that, baby. They funky. Okay. I know they stink down there. They feet dirty. All them things. All of them. Every last one of them. You 
you dusty and you're tired. <laughs> You're dusty and you're tired. Well, let's see. <laughs> Terry had to ask if I've been good. I think I've been good through this live. What y'all think? Y'all think I've been good? Let me know. Let me know. Y'all think I've been good? Jay must have went to work. Because he ain't said nothing else. Everybody must have went to work. Uh, me and both of my Gemini twins is cracking up this morning. <laughs> Baby, your your Gemini twin ain't like like young, right? They they can listen to me. I'm just a cussing, ain't it? I'm just a cussing and stuff. Let me see. Good morning, Chef Dalmas in chat. Uh, I'm tardy to the party. Yeah. <laughs> Not you tardy for the party. Tardy for the party. Ooh, ooh, tardy for the party. Ooh, ooh, tardy for the party. That that's for um that's for for that's for that's for simply elegant one. Cause I know I know KKK Kim is her best friend, and so is Andrew Caldwell. Speaking of Andrew Caldwell, sorry, I have to say this. Y'all know Andrew. <laughs> Andrew gonna be trolling a lot more now because Andrew Caldwell is no longer working for their radio station anymore. He said that his contract was up, darling. He didn't get a new contract over there with the radio station, so he really about to be trolling on the internet now. <laughs> yeah. He don't work at that radio station no more. His contract is up, and so he was online telling the people that he about to start his candle business and all that kind of stuff back up. Uh, wait, Chef, how do you feel about members here and members of the ops as well? Just a question. Okay, so let me let me be clear. I don't have an issue with here. Here's where I draw the line when it comes to subscribers and members, all that stuff, right? If I see you over in someone else's chat talking shit about me, then I have a problem with you. Or if you're indulging in the conversation in which someone is talking shit and you know who they're talking about, that's when I side eye you. And I think that's a natural reaction, right? It's very natural to side eye people. So I don't have a problem with you supporting someone that I don't agree with or that I do not like, right? I don't have an issue with that. I do not. The issue comes in when you feel like you can indulge and engage with them talking shit. That's where I have a problem at. And that's where I have to draw the line. But when it, again, when it comes to you, you support clearly who you want to support, right? You're an adult. You get to support who you want to support. So again, I don't, I don't ever want to be the type of person to be like, oh, well, because I'm into it with this particular person, you ain't got to go over there and fool with it. No, I'm not that person. But if the moment that I see you talking shit, then that's the moment that I'm probably going to block you from my chat. And some people wonder why they are blocked. That would be why. You're blocked from my chat because if I see you over there fooling around with other people talking ish about me, and then the natural reaction would be, you ain't got to come over here, you know, period. You know, so that's how I feel about it. I, I don't think that there's any way that we could possibly stop grown people from supporting other people. But just because I have an issue with somebody doesn't mean you have to have an issue with them. I'm not that type of person. I'm not. But I do look at you sideways when when we were once cool and then no longer we're cool and then you go team up with the ops. That's a that's a problem for me. So hopefully that answers the question. Hopefully. Did did that answer your question, Sheila? I think you the one to ask me that. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Like, honestly, again, like, we, we can't control who you support. So 
I don't mind you supporting other people. It's it's the fact that if I see you indulging in bullish conversations, that's when I have a problem. Uh, some subscribers are messy, but me, I stay in my own lane because I don't uh, do mess and drama. Yeah, a lot of these people, you know, they 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 be, you know, starting up a little mess and stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Jay's still in here because he talking about Trent and taking his friend. <laughs> that's what I like about you. That That's high school. Yeah, like, again, I, I'm not tripping about Nobody going and supporting folks that I don't agree with or that I don't like. Like, I don't. I don't care about that. But the moment I see you talking ish, you will not be chatting in my chat. <coughs> um, hey, Sunshine. Hey, Sunshine. Yes, yeah, just curious. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Again, like, I don't. I don't care who's friends with who or anything like that. It just gets to that point to where if I see you, yeah, Chef Don Don, and this and that, yeah, then, okay, I got you. Anybody who don't like you ain't got no business being over here anyway. Oh, now, Harold. Harold? <laughs> Harold. Now, this, Harold. They even though the people don't like you, they be right in your space. <laughs> well, yes. Now, people I don't like, I don't go to their packages. I ain't got time, honestly. I really don't. I just do not. Oh, what ways to be by Bree say, Lord Jesus, we probably about to be funny. Lord have mercy. Facts just go on about uh your business because oh yeah. Uh J Taylor Sharon is caring. We love Chef too. <laughs> Y'all do know I'm a jealous friend though. I am a jealous friend. I am a jealous friend, so I know what that's about. <laughs> I know what that's about. People take my friend. I'm like, uh, uh, don't be, don't be over here trying to take my friend. Don't be trying to take my friend. Don't be trying to take my friend. A grown up should uh, do a do grown up in forever uh, for real. I I agree. I definitely agree. I like Chef Dundon. He's funny, but I want to know, <clears throat> can he cook? Since he's a chef, I got food on my page. I got cooking videos and stuff on my page. You just got to go in there and see. I don't do like St. James do. St. James just came in the house. What's up, St. James? I don't do like St. James do. St. James, boy, he got, he got. But we'll be there soon with the production. We'll be there soon. Boy, St. James be able to cook everything. Y'all need to go subscribe to St. James. St. James be able to cook it. Me and St. James going to have to get together and cook. We going to cook. That'd be fun. That'll be fun. Uh. Yeah, Demi have had my cooking before. Demi have had my cooking before. Yeah. Just know I, I I treat you right. I treat you right when it comes to the food. Just know that. I ain't over here making no chilling and grassing, baby. I ain't doing that. I ain't, I ain't cleaning my chicken in the sink and cleaning it in the bathtub and all that kind of stuff. Like old Peggy. You, you know, Peggy... Peggy and Wanda, they be sitting over there cleaning them chitlins, cleaning them chitlins and stuff in the bathtub and washing chicken in, in the sink and stuff, child. <laughs> now, I got something else I want to say about Wanda real quick. <laughs> now, that lady on that chitlin video talked about she make her own sugar. Somebody asked her the other day, no, 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 y'all, I do not make my own sugar. I don't know who told y'all that right there. I don't make my own sugar, girl. <laughs> hey, everybody coming in. Yes, oh, let's do it. Let's do it, St. James. Let's do it. Let's get it together. Oh, that was horrible. The hamburger, I mean, green beans with hamburger meat in it. Hey, sweet essence. 
Green beans with hamburger meat in it. This is horrible. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> I do have a question since we talk about that. I do have a question. Do y'all do do? I, I think this is a black folks question. Do y'all eat green bean casserole? Y'all heard me right. Don't make me go pull the picture. Y'all heard me right. I'm trying to spare y'all stomach this morning. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to spare y'all. <laughs> but do black people eat green bean casserole? I'm just curious. Okay, see, so some of y'all saying yes, some of y'all saying no. I eat it if a black person made it. <laughs> Baby, if somebody else made it, you might have a few raisins in there. <laughs> You might have a few raisins. You know, I find this very interesting because, okay, I, I'm going to just go ahead and be honest. I have a, a, a I have an auntie. Now, she, she, she can't cook. We all know that. She can't cook, but we getting ready to have a birthday party for somebody in my family. Well, a birthday party and a retirement party. And this woman said in a text message that she was bringing green bean casserole. And I thought, well, girl, first of all, this ain't no potluck. And second of all, girl, we ain't never ate that. We have never ate that. What, what are we doing in the for now? <laughs> I, I have seen people make it. Of course, being a chef, I have made it for people. But as far as us eating it and stuff like that, like, girl, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. No, man, we do not. We do not. This is interesting, though. The end, because I would say the majority of everybody said no. I'm gonna do it like this so I can get accurate numbers. How about this? Uh. I'd rather eat pork than that. <laughs> Not you rather have uh uh some bacon. You rather have you some bacon. I told y'all I was at I hop and that lady said that lady said the woman asked her, and this was before turkey bacon was like a hidden restaurant. She said yeah, I, the lady asked if she wanted like some bacon or something like that. She said, I can't remember how she worded it, but she said something about some bacon or something like that. And she was like, no, 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 no. She she asked her if she wanted some ham. I think her meal came with some a slice of ham or something like that. And she told that lady, she said, no, I'll take bacon because I do not eat pork. <laughs> and you know, when you supposed to be sitting over there minding your business, baby, my head shifted so quick. What you say, ma'am? Did you, <laughs> ma'am? What was that you just said? <laughs> what did you just say, ma'am? Okay. Uh. Okay, so I just started a poll in the chat because I need accurate numbers. I need accurate numbers. Do you eat green bean casserole? And just put yes or no. Yes, that lady said she mentioned something about ham, and instead of saying, I don't want no pork or nothing like that, she said, I'll take some bacon. Even the lady, even the lady that was with her was like, what? <laughs> you can tell they was on like some type of little lunch thing. Like, that lady looked like, what the hell? <laughs> Uh, okay, don't invite her to dinner, sweet essence. Baby, you is not invited to the dinner or the cookout.
Uh, when I take my daughters out for breakfast, she always says, I want pork bacon. Baby, your daughter want the people to know she want the pork bacon. Don't come back over here with that turkey mess. Come over here with no turkey bacon, baby. That is not real. Don't come over here with that. Since when have we had y'all listen? I know I, I know people say this all the time, but no lie. There's just some things you just cannot make vegan in my uh, uh, like in my opinion yesterday i was looking at vegan recipes because my sister is going vegan and i was looking for recipes to help her i came across this bacon recipe girl it was a piece of uh it was a piece of that 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 rubber looking stuff what is it what is this stuff called lord didn't slip my mind uh tofu baby she has some tofu and going to make some, make some brown sauce with some little Worcestershire sauce. I have you said W sauce. That's how we say. She put a little W sauce, a little garlic powder, a little onion powder and stuff like that. And she, she going to put that, uh, she going to put that on like, she will put some barbecue sauce and some ribs or something. I said, man, no, if, if I, if I can't have it, I'm not fit to play with it. I'm, I'm not fit to do that. I, no, man. She will paint it like it was a. Like a paintbrush, baby. I was like, no. If you got to do all of that, no. And yes, thank you, CM. Tofu is not good for you. You vegan and you eating tofu. No. Look up tofu. That's all you got to do. Look it up for yourself. Y'all better stop eating that stuff. I also tell y'all to be careful with packaged vegetables and stuff like that. The packaged foods. Be careful. Just be careful. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't going to tell you what to eat and what not to eat, but just be careful. Yep, she she had she had the tofu and she took a piece of rice paper and put it on top talking about here go the bacon grooves. Ma'am <laughs> No Here go the bacon grooves. If I if I can't have it, I just can't have it. I mean it's just that simple. I just cannot have it. I, I cause I never had to do all that. I never understood that. I never understood that. But I have. I do like the Beyond Meat. Um, I made some spaghetti with the Beyond Meat. I did like that. Um, and I made meatloaf with the Beyond Meat. I have two friends who are um who are vegan. And baby, they love that Beyond Meat uh uh meatloaf. Have you ever seen vegan chitlin? I seen them doing that mess the other day, not too long ago. Like, what's the point? <laughs> Girl, if you just don't eat the stuff, you just don't eat it. <laughs> what is the point? Yeah, what is the point? I don't eat processed food. Yeah. St. James said, y'all can have all of that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 just me, I personally, yeah. I watch some of the things that I eat, but I ain't sitting up. I ain't sitting up. Uh, I ain't eat no tofu, not that bush. And I ain't gonna do all that. Sir, why are you in my DM this early in the morning? Uh, you don't eat beef either. One thing that I don't eat as much as I used to, which is definitely pork. I don't eat like bacon and stuff like I used to. I, I really don't at all. Um, every now and then, and, and then and again, I crave a piece of bacon on my hamburger. <laughs> yeah. On my hamburger. Let's see. Hey, camera real. I ain't fooling with no beef jerky. <laughs> and the point is. Uh, to have the flavor without the harmful uh, effects on the body unless uh, you're near an organic farm or a meat market because uh, the meat tastes different in the country and the city. I do agree with that because I come from the country. I agree with that. I do agree with that. I do eat at vegan restaurants sometimes and I enjoy it. I like vegan burgers on the grill and uh yes it's good and spaghetti yes 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 the beyond meat is not that bad now you do gotta see 
Okay, you know what the Beyond Meat reminds me of? And and I'm seeing this more so in like the 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 taste preference or as far as like seasoning it. It it reminds me a lot of like turkey ground turkey. Like, you know, sometimes extensively you have to put extra seasoning in ground turkey. That's how I feel like you have to do with the Beyond Me. I feel like you have to, you know, season it to make it to make it what you want it to be. Just had heart surgery. Please take care of yourself. Oh, we're always praying, praying for a speedy recovery. And it's good that you, you were able to change your diet. It, it, it's good that you were able to do that. You don't eat lunch meat either? Baby, I can't even tell you the last time I had some lunch meat. I don't know, but one thing I do know is... <clears throat> All that ordering out and stuff. I ain't doing that stuff this summer. I ain't doing it this summer. First of all, when you order out, baby, you I was looking for these. I was looking for a battery to replace in my mouse. And guess what? The Lord said, let there be batteries. Oh, yes. Come on, Duracell. Hallelujah. Okay, now we good. There we go. We good, baby. Um, Good that meat is processed as well. Uh, Once you, once you see how they make it, none of us should eat that slop. God is good, y'all, because I was stressing about the batteries because y'all know batteries is not cheap, honey. And this was one of the big packs, but here it is right here in my face. Uh, I have to be honest, most of the time I have uh, eaten meat. I have eaten meat recently. It made me nauseated unless it was in a soup. Hmm. Sometimes meat can do that to you. Like, I think it was like last week. Um, I had like some ground beef. It had been a while. Like literally, y'all, I'm a chicken. I I eat chicken for everything, literally. But um, I had some beef last week. I had made some some uh, beef. Uh, uh, Lord have mercy. I actually had beef twice last week. I had my brother had made some spaghetti. It didn't agree with me, and I had some beef enchiladas, and it didn't agree with me either. And it it wasn't the grease mechanism of it all either, because I don't I, I didn't make my food greasy. I drain grease. I don't do all that. So, yeah. I don't know. So, beef is probably getting like that for me, too. Pork. I, I get sick with pork. Like, if I... if it, It's a sacrifice if I make me a rib and eat a rib or something like that. It's a, it's definitely a sacrifice because I know it's not about to do me no good. Not going to lie, the smell... Uh, the smell of meat now makes me nauseous as well. Raw or cooked, it's weird. I'm I'm doing more vegetarian meals. Yeah, sometimes it be like that though. Uh, shout out to Aunt Natty. Thank you so much for the cash app. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The only beef I've eaten in the past week, I ate a burger on um, Saturday night. That's it. Otherwise, it's been chicken or fish. Yeah. Um, some salmon might be good. Like yesterday, I made some shrimp fried rice. And I made my brother some chicken because he can't eat too much shrimp. But um, I made him some honey bourbon chicken uh, with the fried rice. So I can't eat ground beef anymore. It doesn't uh, sit well with my stomach. Yeah. Last week, I know that feeling because, again, last week, I'm telling y'all, at first I thought it was the sauce. But then, no, it, it was definitely it was definitely the meat. Did you use brown or white rice? I used white minute rice. I was lazy. Not gonna lie. And the reason why I use the minute rice, I, I don't know. I like the minute rice better in, in fried rice. I, that, okay, I'll tell you what it is. The reason, I was trying to find a cheap way out because the reason is, I don't know about this big old bag of rice from Walmart, y'all, but the grains look like they were purposely cut in half. Like the rice looks like 
like really small, like really, really small. So I thought, well, maybe, maybe it's just a bag that I'm looking at. I'm going to just boil it and see what it do. Baby, when I looked at that rice, baby, it looked like I was cooking oatmeal. So I was like, oh, no, 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 no. And so I, I let it go. What's mad day? Mad day is when you're cool with somebody and then you, you fall out with them. Mad day is the day that you fall out with them and you use stuff against them. That's what mad day is. Y'all pray for me then uh, to eat. Uh, hold on. <laughs> now listen. I ain't sitting up and telling y'all I'm trying to eat healthy. And I ain't say that. I mean, I ain't sitting up and telling y'all for to be vegan or nothing. I'm just saying that there are certain things that I know I can't eat. They don't agree with my body. The older I get, the worse it gets. You like deer meat. Okay. Is there anybody in the chat that like possums? Y'all like y'all like possum ass cheeks? I mean, y'all ain't had no good green beans if y'all ain't had plenty of meat in them. If y'all ain't had plenty of meats in y'all green beans, y'all ain't had nothing good. You know what I'm saying? You got to have plenty of meats in there. That includes raccoon. That includes coon nuts. Okay, roasted coon nuts. That includes... <laughs> that includes squirrel ass cheeks and everything. They're your greens with plenty of meats in it. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to stick to no eating healthy plan, but I'll tell you what I can stick to, and this is what I've been saying I wanted to work on, is my portion control. Once I get that portion control down, y'all ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. But a lot of times, a nigga just be hungry and I be trying to eat. <laughs> uh, Wanda in the bushes. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get to see it. <laughs> Watch the bushes. <laughs> Y'all know T Man over there catching them. Um, catching them. What's the name? Spoon. Let me see. I've had ostrich. It was good. Uh, T Top with your girl. You know, making your head about to say that tastes like chicken. You know. <laughs> black folks always say, oh, black folks always say something tastes like chicken. Y'all know who y'all want food with now? See, I laugh at Wanda all the time. I, I laugh at Wanda all the time. But my dad, on the other hand, baby, you want to ask him whatever he cook, you need to ask him what it is, okay? Ask him what it is, because, baby, he'll be done cooked the whole rabbit and had you over here eating rab rabbit uh, 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 strip, okay? You over here eating rabbit strips and you're gonna tell you they chicken tenders. No, 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 sir. Like, no. <laughs> I don't I, it's a lot of stuff. I don't eat. I don't eat them frog legs. I don't eat, I don't eat a lot of this. I don't eat this stuff. I don't eat hog malls. <laughs> and I'm from the country. My grandma and them used to cook with that type of stuff, but I don't eat that now. I really don't. Rabbit is good. Oh, some of y'all are country as hell. But I like it. I like it. I like it. Y'all country. I like it. Rabbit is sweet. They serve it on the cruise. Listen, let me tell y'all. My daddy will smoke a rabbit. <laughs> he will smoke a rabbit, honey, and will cut it up and put it on the plate and make it look like it is really ticking the food. <laughs> <laughs> Raccoon also uh Turtles Who's eating a turtle? Who is eating a turtle? That's what I want to know. Poor turtle. Now the turtle already moving slow. And y'all gonna eat the turtle. Who the who they had turtle up in here before? Turtle, 
I had Gator. I had Gator at a um at a at a uh, sports bar. Now I will say this: bit. Thank you, Saint James. Saint James said y'all going to hell over there eating turtle. Who is eating turtle? Y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. Ooh, y'all. I'm telling on y'all. I don't know who the hell I'm going to tell, but I'm telling. I'm telling on y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm telling the people. I, I'm telling the people on y'all. Gator is good if it's cooked right. Yeah, I do like that. But them frog legs and all that other stuff, child, I ain't trying to eat that. And, and my daddy, baby, he love that type of stuff. Oh, God. Baby, the frog leg is still jerking. Like, no. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> he talking about, yeah, son, I need to take you out here so we can go camping. Daddy. Daddy. I love you, daddy. But I bet I don't. <laughs> God has blessed me to eat something around there in the kitchen. I have to go around there to the woods to eat. I, I don't. <laughs> Bama girl, you say you like uh you like rabbit too. I just cannot believe y'all out here eating turtle. Uh-uh, y'all. Please don't eat the turtle. Please don't. I don't I don't think God pleased with that. I really don't. I don't think I would dear Lord and Savior is pleased with y'all eating turtle. Yeah, you know how they be making that twitch? Uh-uh, I can't do it. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Everything, uh, I'm in Bama with family. I got to watch them uh, cook because ain't no telling what animal is on the grill. I will say that when it comes to my dad. That's why I say, you, baby, anytime he cooking, you got to ask him, what, what is you cooking? I know y'all hear the dogs barking. What y'all barking at? They probably telling me I've been on live too long. Uh, lizards? Nah, see, y'all need to quit. Y'all need to quit. Y'all need to quit. Y'all need to quit. Lizards? Frogs? Turtles? What is wrong with y'all? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. I had gator bites in, I had uh, gator bites in, uh, what did I say? I had uh, gator bites in, um, when we went to, uh, oh, 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 oh. Where we, oh, when we were in uh, uh, LA, we were at a, well, I think it was like a little gay little island or something like that, somewhere we was at. I can't remember where my friend took me to because I was lit that day. Oh, I was so lit. But I did, I do remember eating them around there. Because guess what? I asked for another another order. I'll never forget that part. The, the Gator Bites was good. But all this other stuff, uh-uh. And they had a, a sauce for it. It was like a spicy sauce. It was so good. Did I, did I eat squirrel? You know, I can't, I can't really say since I've been an adult, no. But as a kid, I can't say what I ate because my family was very country and they don't tell them what they feed me. Stay out of them gay, them gay islands. That was, it was so long ago. And again, it was like, yeah. I ain't gonna say so long ago, but it was before the pandemic. Uh, rabbit stew is good. A lot of y'all are really country. Oh, they laugh. They barking at the the uh, people here more on the lawn. That's why y'all laughing. I didn't even know y'all were coming today, people. Today ain't Wednesday. Today Tuesday. Y'all supposed to come on Wednesday. 
That mean I got to pay y'all early. <laughs> that mean I got to pay the people early. Y'all supposed to come when y'all supposed to come. I guess you thought you was just in the area, so you think you just going to cut my grass. How you know I had the funds today? How you know, sir? How you know? What did you... I think he got his days mixed up. They is definitely country in this chat. It's just a shade. Country down to the ground. Uh, I'm not eating uh, gators, rabbits, hog legs, possum, butts, chillers, or anything else that's not chicken or fish. Okay, well, I got one for you, uh, 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 Brittany, since you, and I still love you even when I say this. I got one for you, though. You want Peggy to cook your chicken? Peggy could cook your chicken for you. Mm-hmm. Y'all better not eat Peggy chicken. Y'all gonna have salmonella. That's what y'all gonna have. Y'all gonna have a salmonella over there fooling around with Peggy. Because Peggy don't, uh, Peggy still, who still seasons they chicken in the sink? Who? Who's still doing that? That's, that's, that's what I want to know. Who's still doing Chicken in a sink. Piggy. Shout out to Caramel Real, honey. But that's Peggy, honey. <laughs> that's Peggy. Y'all always hear me saying me and Peggy ain't the same because Peggy still, Peggy still over there washing her chicken in the sink. Ma'am, who still doing it? Who still, like, ma'am, you do realize that a dollar store, they got bowls for a dollar. Well, dollar fifty nine. Okay, go get you a bowl. If any of y'all in this chat seasoning y'all chicken in the sink, because we we have to disassociate ourselves immediately. Because who who's still doing it? No, 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 no. You didn't wash your chicken in the sink, and you done. You you didn't do nothing to it, child. You literally just start seasoning it the moment you. I mean, you left it in the sink and started using Wanda season. In the sink, who is still doing that? Like. I, we're not going to sit up here and pretend like our ancestors, like our grandmother, our great-grandmother, like they didn't do that. They did. They did. They did. But, girl, we're living in 2024, okay? You're going to have salmonella, okay? You're going to have salmonella. They got bowls around there at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and 37 cents, okay? You can go around there and get you a big old burro, a big old burro. Okay, and you can season your chicken in that bowl, but it is nasty as hell for you to be seasoning that chicken in that sink. That is nasty. Like, ooh. Ha <laughs> ha, you go, we calling the CDC. <laughs> Baby, well, y'all should have been on call the CDC on Wanda cleaning them chitlin and putting that buttermilk and stuff in their dresser. <laughs> that that just should not. I want to know what that shit looked like afterwards. Y'all realize she took that video off of YouTube because she knew I was chewing her up. Now, I have went and did a poll on my community wall and I just said, has anybody ever heard of chitlin dressing? Okay. I had over 400 votes, and the people said no. It was one that said yes, and I know damn well that was one. I know it was one. 
I also uh, don't cook for large groups of people. I cook uh, to my liking and feed my own stomach. Wanda be preparing these big feasts like uh, the top shelf of somebody. Well, no one's eating the big feast. I guarantee you half of that stuff that she cooked goes straight to the trash. Anybody that know better know that they ain't fooling with that food over there. They know. I had to put that up there, y'all. <laughs> I had to, because baby, she still sees her chicken right in the sink. And using Wanda. Wanda also got some um Thanksgiving season. Okay, Th Thanksgiving season. Okay, Thanksgiving season. Y'all want some Thanksgiving season? Y'all go over there and get it from Miss from Miss Wanda. Thanksgiving season. Thanksgiving season. Y'all know what that is? I do, and I'm proud of it. Missy Junior. Nobody eating. Uh, Eden from Wanda, she looks nasty and teethy. <laughs> Baby, when Mel walked up on that table and say, I saw, I ain't here to get no show enough nasty looking people. <laughs> that, will, that will live in my head forever, baby. <laughs> it's showing up nasty fool. <laughs> <laughs> girl and then i showed y'all i ain't put to show y'all this time but i showed y'all that video and she's like uh when that courtney p man could it be could it be could it be could it be he that like but he that like but he that like but miss wanda what we cooking today miss wanda girl she over there cooking some greet some greet greet Seafood bowl. And I'm saying Greek. Greek. Like Greek food. Everything gotta be Greek with Wanda, baby. She sprinkled a little oregano on something and swear up and down it's Greek, baby. That is not how they work. That is just not how they work. You don't get to call them Greek seafood bowls because you done sprinkled some some oregano, some dried oregano seasoning on. That ain't how that work. No. Child, baby girl, nineteen eighty one will be sick. Yeah, whatever comes to her mind. <laughs> Y'all rude. Why is the Lamo people here today? Today is not Wednesday, and I'm not going outside to have no conversation with that man because he talked too damn much. Let me just send him his money. Y'all remember? Y'all remember when Funky Dineva had that? When Funky Dineva had that potato that was throwing up them gang signs? <laughs> yeah. Them 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 crawfish was throwing up gangs. Huh? <laughs> Unc said she sent one hundred orders to Jiminy. Now Sheila, I believe that she will not see. <laughs> Who in Jiminy eating her food? I mean, it won't her season around there in Jiminy. Jiminy. Not Germany, but Jiminy. Why she always rolling food into a bar? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wanda said what makes her a chef is the fact that she's really innovative with her ideas. Like, because she comes off with those ideas, at, you know, that's, that's what she said makes her a chef. Girl. <laughs> no that lady poured buttermilk y'all she said she said to make that dressing just like you make the cornbread she put a whole pint of buttermilk in there y'all before she got to the end of the bottle she held up the bottle and was like yeah, and just pour it all in there she literally poured all that buttermilk in there, and I'm thinking to myself, girl, what kind of 
Gresson is this. I wouldn't even want your regular Gresson if this is what you're doing. I know they talking about Buzz Bunny. <laughs> Y'all realize y'all have no chill. <laughs> y'all have no chill. <laughs> okay, listen, y'all. Listen. Listen. Listen, Linda. Linda. I need you to listen, Linda. Listen to me good, Linda. Y'all make sure that y'all hit that like button, number one. Y'all did pretty good with the likes. Y'all really did. I mean, we almost had 300 people in here at one point. So I appreciate it. I do. I'm, I, y'all had to hear me go off. Y'all did. I had to go off for a little bit. But I, I think I still did good. I think I still did good. I ain't, I ain't go fully left like I could. I think I still did good. Uh, you supposed to sanitize your sink. Yeah, you're supposed to sanitize your sink, but you ain't supposed to be using your sink to season nothing. If y'all don't go around there and get y'all a bowl, okay, they real cheap around at the dollar store. Do you need me to cash up you $2? I can catch up you $2. While Wanda over here worried about me begging for cash apps, you need to be asking for cash apps for your friends so she can go to the store and buy a bowl. And stop seasoning that chicken in that sink. That's what you need to do for your friend. Instead of worried about folks asking for cash apps. I don't know why she got such a hard on for people asking for cash apps. Why do you care? Well, I'm going to send a little extra for a little gas money or something. I don't know. My God. But you need help your friend out or something. Girl, your friend is over there seasoning her chicken in the sink. But we all talk about Wanda. She's seasoning hers. I told y'all this wasn't going to be no show. I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all. So breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. SWV and Escape is headlining a tour. This is called the Queens of R&B Tour. I told y'all wasn't going to be no nother show. So Lily technically ain't lied to y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all. The people don't like to listen to me. The people's. Do not like to listen to me, and I don't steal y'all in the wrong way. I be knowing what I be talking about. Y'all don't like to listen. I told y'all. Let me pull this up. I told y'all. I told y'all. I told you. And so since I told y'all, I need y'all to put in the chat. You told us so. You told us so. Let's go. You told us so. <laughs> but I really did tell y'all so. I really did. I told y'all, uh, but total, total 702 and um Maya going to be on this tour. I, I think this is dope. Let me put this up. Now, Rontasha won't be there. Rontasha won't be there till she run her, her, her uh, till she run her, what's her name? Okay, so here it is. Uh, the Queens of R&B Tour, Escape and SWV. I like they uh, picture. This is cute. Um, I can't zoom in, though, y'all. I apologize. I cannot zoom in. But as you can see, this is coming from the SWV uh, page. Hold up. Okay, so Sherry must have broke the news today. But here we go. This picture is fire. Uh, Tamika look good. Candy look good. Tiny look good. Uh, Coco look good. Lily look good. And so do Taj. Yes, honey. Yes, I will be buying my ticket, baby. I will be going. I'll be going. Now, let's see. When they coming around here to test. Oh, baby, July the 5th? Ooh, baby, I got to jump on that ticket now. Let's see if this is available. Is the tickets available? Oh, the tickets go on sale on Friday. Friday the 29th at 10 a.m. your local time. I don't care what nobody say. I'm going down to the concert. I will be there with bells and whistles on. Yes, I will be there. 
I will be there. Mark my word. Okay. I, I, I do love both groups. I do. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And, and y'all see how simple this was? Y'all see how simple it was for them to co-headline this together? Y'all see how simple this was? Y'all ain't have to do all that beefing and going on. Because this was very simple. Get some other people in here. Y'all could have even got brownstone or something. Nah, I'm just playing. But I'm just saying. I'm glad they're going on tour. And I'm glad they could come to some type of agreement that would allow them to co-headline together and we have a tour. But I told y'all this is what was going to happen. I told y'all y'all didn't listen to me. Y'all don't like listening to me no way. I told y'all about Disney. Y'all ain't listening to me. I told y'all about, y'all just don't listen. I'm not country for real. Oh, well, they must got two shows for Atlanta. Y'all need two shows for Atlanta. I don't even see is Atlanta on here. Why would Atlanta not be on here? Let's see. Atlanta is is July the sixteenth. I bet you they're gonna add another Atlanta date. It seems like every everybody that go on tour when they go to Atlanta, because y'all know that's the the music mecca, the black music mecca. So, uh, I believe they they probably gonna add another Atlanta date. I, what you bet? What you bet? What you bet they gonna add another Atlanta date? Well, maybe they can't, cause they literally going on tour every day. Um, July the tenth, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifth. 16, 17, 19. Mm. Well, maybe they, they ain't going to get a chance to because they got something the day before and the day after. I don't know. They could, they could squeeze another Atlanta day in now. Yep. They're going to add an Atlanta day. I just feel it. I feel it. I'm here for this. I'm so here for this. But I told you I didn't think no show... No season two was coming out of this. Number one, um, all of them had EP credit the first the first season. They had credit the first season. Latasha won't be a part of it. I'm sure that 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 took a dagger for them to do like a season two. As much as we probably, yeah, it, it definitely did. Now, Missy, Missy Jr., on that note, I think it's time for me to go. <laughs> I always talk about them roaches. 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 But shout out to them. I'm glad, again, that they could get to, to an agreement, and this this could be what it is. So, again, technically, Lily nor um nor uh, Don Juan lied to us, y'all. They did uh, Jasmine Brand exclusively have reported that they were working on a season two. Now, could they, they film this and make this into a documentary? I'm quite sure that they probably will do something like this. You know, y'all gonna cancel Diddy's music like y'all do R. Kelly's? I don't listen to Diddy, so <laughs> baby, y'all call me an old man when it come to music, okay? Call me an old man. As I sit up here and listen to the old stuff. Old school stuff. And my good old my good old gospel music. Yeah, I mean, every now and then if I'm listening to like my Apple uh, station, they'll play a Diddy song, but mm -mm. <clears throat> Okay. So listen, y'all, I appreciate y'all for riding with your boy. I really do. I had to get this stuff out of my chest today. Um, I am going to talk about the bridge. I'm going to talk about Diddy. There are some other things that I do want to talk about, so I'll probably be live again later on today. But I do want to thank you guys for this. Now, listen, we are we're still celebrating 11K. So if you guys would like to bless the platform with $11, uh, you definitely can. The cash app is on the screen. I greatly appreciate appreciate it. Diddy got his teeth from the same place. You know what? 
same place as Tasha K. Hmm. Okay. Anywho, I hope you guys have a great and fantastic day. Okay. I hope you guys have a great and fantastic day. Please don't forget to tune into the community wall where we still will be uh, discussing or posting for Women's History Month. Um, I still want to honor um, our women for Women's History Month. So you guys will see that. I started doing like two a day to catch up. Um, but yeah, okay. All right, I appreciate y'all so much. Much love to you all. Again, thank y'all for riding for me. Truly know my heart. And, and 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 I appreciate it. But I always remember this one thing, and I'm gonna leave you with this. I'm gonna leave you with this. When you go to the ops, when you go right there with the ops, you go right on the ops avenue, you stay your ass over there. Okay? Don't ever come back over here on this side of the track. Keep your ass over there on Ops Avenue. And don't you never come off of Ops Avenue. And you remember that. Bye now.